He's an asshole, man. That dude's an asshole, and he knows it. From the main streets of Brooklyn to the rough neighborhood in Boise, Idaho, now present the Goonberg Report. Hey, everybody, how you doing? This is Mayor Goonberg, and this is the Goonberg Report. Today I want to talk about something, and I don't have nothing special to uh, talk about as far as like a, a topic. So, well, it's special, but it's nothing that's the usual today. Today I'm going to talk about something about how you should how you should have an, a better outlook. Cause this is especially going for young people. What this what this Corona deal has done. For my thinking and how you, you should think like this all the time, but it really instilled this in me. Now, during this virus, we're all trapped, right? And you see how a lot of people were or can't take themselves with their spouse or significant other during, other during this time, right? So that made me, that this makes me to think. Yeah, every once in a while I do that, so. But this makes me think that. I said to myself, and this really hit home when it, during this during this quote unquote like where I live at, we're one of many states that have stay at home orders. I mean, it's not extreme as some others, but still, we still have. Them. And there are people that getting sick and maybe died, which is real unfortunate. But and I think I had this beforehand, so I think I had this back in before like the fall or winter. But we're not here to talk about that. I know myself and others. But uh, I think people need to start making, you need to learn to make yourself happy. Because this shows you that life isn't that, life is really short when you think about it. Think about all the people that have died during this, this, like this pandemic, during the, the coronavirus, the COVID-19. Think about those drastic situations that we're in. You have to make yourself, and I'm going to talk about relationship-wise. I'm not talking about any other. I'm just talking about relationship-wise. Let's not go left. I'm talking about relationship. You need to make your find somebody who you want to be with. Uh, uh, say like a situation like this. My parents are still married. Yeah, they have bad days and they have good days, but they're not killing themselves right now. They're happy. I know I, my friend's parents are married. I know people, that are, my brother's married. There are people who you, they're married right now that aren't complaining. I know you, you see a lot of breakups right now. And it's unfortunate. But I'm going to give you, I'm going to give you the real, real deal here. If I was still married, this would push me over the edge. That's no doubt about it. I mean, not that I'd be still married to the same chick. I'm not going to I'd never go back to that. But if I was married to somebody I couldn't stand and we were just, you know how a lot of couples stay for the sake of the kids or whatever? If that was my case, this would be the breaking point. This would be the point where I said, nah, screw this, fuck that, I'm out of here. Because yeah, my peace of mind is everything. Money isn't shit. My peace of mind is priceless. So you got to think about that. Now, I want to give you, now here's, here's what people, people need to think about this because I want to tell you situations. You, maybe your situation is similar to mine and others, I know, because I talked about this before, and I know people that have, I mean, I never talked about this on video, but I talked about this to other people, and that's a lot of people have the same situation. Like, we're, like, we're, we're I, like, I, we moved, like I told you, outside of Pennsylvania, or Pittsburgh, I mean. And in certain spots, like when I was, like, going to school and stuff, and they even after school for the first couple of years, like chicks wouldn't date certain guys. I was including those guys because so and so wouldn't let, didn't like you, or they deemed you unpopular. It's not that I, they didn't name these people. They just deemed you unpopular, and I couldn't care less myself because I wasn't number one. I was taught not to prove myself to anybody, just be me. But see, the problems came where, so people say, "Well, what did you do?" I said, "I left that area." Like, I worked there, but I went to other areas to find women. 
because I'm going to stay there with them chicks. And the bad part about it, the women that they were telling this to, they were not top notch chicks. It wasn't like that. I can see, look, first of all, I can't see another man hating on somebody, on another man just for some coochie. If you have to do that, you're getting laid proxy. That's a proxy lay. You're getting laid because you, you had to throw dirt on my name. You had to shit on my name, which I would never do because I was taught that. You just you just don't. What for? Number one, number one it, what for? Number two, the chicks are going to tell on you anyway because the chicks told me all this. I still didn't date them after that because I'm like, you were dumb enough to listen to them, weren't you? Don't think you can come back to this. But back to the talk here. They would talk and like act like that they're, you know, oh, he's a lame, he's this, this, that, nerd. I just do the mind my business and kept it to myself. But then the ch- chicks start seeing me come home. Like, I would date chicks in other counties and more tours in Pittsburgh. Then they, they, these chicks want to get off talk about, well, how come you never dated me? And I, just, I, just, I wouldn't, I, 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 engaged, I engaged one chick one time, and that was a disaster because I told her how, I, I set her straight. I said, look, man. I said, first of all, you listen to all these other dudes talking shit. And you expect me to date you? I'm good. And now, you see the people that did that, you see who they end up with. And you're like, and then like, I like, I hate to say this, you got to kind of like, you, you, if you're going to talk bad about me, at least do it for a chick that's like a soft drink. She got to be seven and up at least. If you're going to talk chick bad about me about a, to a four, because the proof's of the pudding, I don't have to lie. If I pulled up some of these pictures, you'll be like, that chick? You see some of these chicks. Look, I don't care how good of a job you get. If you if you look busted, you're busted. But these chicks fell for that trap. So, and like, I try to tell people, how am I, like these young dudes, I tell them, I said, look. How am I getting dating the chicks I'm dating if I'm such a lame? They're like, hey, look at the house. I said, because they're, they're lying. I said, the lame to them is someone who wasn't brash, yelling down to program. I did my own thing. I was never the one to follow the leader because I wasn't taught to follow the leader. Because if you follow the leader, you're going to get screwed. I live and die by my own decisions. But again, that's what you have to do. You have to live and die by your own decisions. If you live like that, you can sit up here what I'm doing and looking down and say, look, look at you now. I can tell these chicks, look at you now. I don't do that. I just don't deal with them. And a lot of them, like one time, I'll give you an example. I was on the internet, Facebook, and, I was, and there's a dad of this one fella, and one guy had a post, a picture of a chick pumping gas. And all of them kept saying, oh, that's not a real man. I said, shh. I said, wait a minute. You want equality to it till it uh, doesn't work for you. They're like, what do you mean? I said, she's pumping gas. I don't care. Oh, you're not a gentleman. I said, I never said I wasn't, wasn't a gentleman. I just said, if you want ERA and equality, that's equality. Oh, but what if, what if that was your daughter? First of all, uh, my family, I had to do a lot of stuff. I didn't want to do, but the old man taught me to do that. And it's better for me now in the end because I can do a lot of shit. I learned how to cook clean for my mom and all that, and she taught me stuff. But a lot of you people want, it just ain't working. That's like now. I tell them, I date, I don't, I used to, I, I date whoever I want to date. And all this is make me going to do now is probably kick up my dating habits. Because, like I said, it's, I found, you find out life is too short to live in a box. I mean, this situation is to prove positive. If I'm going to stay inside here, inside of my house, I want to stay with somebody who I can get along with and have fun with, even though we're staying inside the house doing nothing. Because this, this could be just a test for something for all you people know. How are we doing a real epidemic? This is light. What if this was like an alien invasion or World War Three, heaven forbid, or something like that? If I'm going to stay in with somebody, I'm going to stay in with somebody I can get along with. Or at least a young, <laughs> young, good-looking chick. <laughs> something. But this should teach a lot of you. And I know a lot of people back home, this is the mentality they have. 
Well, I would go with them, but they're worried about what so-and-so thinks. Instead of worrying about their happiness. Now a lot of them ain't worried about their, a lot of them worry about their happiness when they get to our age. And by then they're like, unless you stay in this shape, I got nothing for you. And if you got a bunch of kids, I damn sure got nothing for you. Like, I just want to make a little video talking about this because when you sit down and honestly think about it, this could have been serious. It could have been worse than it really is. And what will we do? do don't you want to be somewhere where you're with somebody who you can get along with? At least be happy with? Or do you want to argue, fuss, and fight, and then come to find out that you were just married because you thought you coexisted, now you're getting a divorce? So that's all I have to say. Just a little reflect on your situation, and sometimes you have it better than others. So this has been Mayor Goomberg, and this has been the Goomberg Report. Thank you.